Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new FIFA 18 Ultimate Team Player Review. Today we're going to be looking at the ones to watch version of the boosted Mikitarian. Uh, the only reason that I need to mention that it's the ones to watch is because the actual informed version is over on the left hand side of the pitch. He's a left mid, uh, whereas this one comes out as a right mid. Um, but of course the stats are still the same. 86 rated, his first special item for Arsenal, 87 pace, 88 dribbling, 81 shooting and 84 passing. He, of course, does have four-star skills and five-star weak foot. So, I've got a couple of different squad options for you today. The first one, of course, you're most likely to see Mikatarian in a full-on Prem team. And we've got a really nice one here, full of different special items, uh, including the third informed son and player of the month, Salah. Uh, but this is the main squad I used him in today. A bit of a cheaper team and a bit more of a hybrid. You know, we're mixing things between the Eredivisie, Calcio A, Bundesliga, and the Premier League today, and he does play as a right winger but I'm sure that you guys can figure out some hybrids using the left-sided version as you can see on screen right now um, so in game stats time what are we thinking for f first in form Henrik Mkhitaryan of course he has also got a footmas item uh, and I'm sure a few of you will have got that with slightly different stats across the board on basic chemistry style Mkhitaryan looks nuts uh, but today I was happy with the fact that he's already got 87 pace including a really high acceleration stat so let's use the maestro let's get technical today it boosts his dribbling boosts his shooting boosts his passing because that is really going to help the team and himself uh, to get goals uh, so moving on into the clips we can uh, talk positives and negatives and you can see all of the shots that didn't quite make it with Mikitarian, and then all of the goals that I was actually able to score uh, and we'll start with negatives first as always firstly strength strength is probably probably the major issue because I didn't really have I didn't find much wrong with Mkhitaryan to be honest he's actually a really well suited player for Futt you know this year especially with his fast acceleration um, and the fact that he's got the, the good skills and weak foot there's really not a huge amount wrong with him but of course it is worth noting that there's no point getting into physical confrontation it's not going to go well for you you know he's just a weak player because he's more of a flair player you know he's, he's more of a technical dribbler and stuff like that um, so physical stuff is not really uh, not really his forte uh, and then what I would say is that his composure in front of goal and that's the only time I'm talking about this you know like it, when he's when he's doing his passing and when he's like running with the ball and stuff he seems utterly composed but then in front of goal there were a lot of times where I hit the woodwork and there were a lot of times where a finesse shot would just whip uh, wide of the post and it's just worth noting because uh, I thought those those were situations where I was almost guaranteed a goal and it didn't quite work out like that um, but those are the negatives and they're, they're not really major because with a player like Mikitarian, although although he might hit the post from time to time, you will create enough chances with him because of his other stats and other areas of expertise that you will still end up, you know, getting loads of goals and getting loads of assists and stuff like that. So uh, acceleration, like I've already mentioned in this video, is is a great positive for this for this player. You know, we haven't boosted pace at all today uh, with the chem style, and he still felt absolutely rapid and seriously quick off the get go. You know, that's receiving the ball and then just absolutely sprinting up to his sprint speed really quick and I like that about him because you know it, it's a good thing to do when you're a technical dribbler of the ball you're nice and agile which are the next two positives he's got high ag agility and balance uh, which means that his turning circle is good he can he can slow down change direction and then speed up again with that acceleration really well um, and of course his first touch is impeccable his dribbling is off the charts he runs very well with nice close tight control on FIFA 18 added to the list of all of that stuff then is the fact that this guy has four star skill moves so that is uh, of course very useful you can do the Berber spins the Giovinco chops the whatever you want to call them uh, he, he's got it in his locker to do that he of course just can't do the five star skills uh, his passing was great long passing was the the short straw I guess you know he, he's better at short passing uh, as a winger playing alongside a striker and stuff those little quick one twos to then decide who's going to get through on goal uh, that that's where he works really well and obviously you're going to get assists as well as goals um, from from just those one two passes his long shots are crazy nice amount of shot power very accurate good amount of curve uh, and like I said every now and again they'll hit the woodwork or something but you'll create enough chances with this player to keep that 
goal to game ratio and uh, you know assist to game ratio nice and high for you today so finally the only other positive and probably one of the best bits about this this guy is that he's got the five star weak foot i i keep saying this it's probably my favorite part of the game you know someone that i can confidently run you know he's quick he's got agility he's got really good dribbling off the ball he's got the skill moves uh, and the players don't know which way he's going to turn because I can quite comfortably shoot on the left or the right and as always that's something I really love on FIFA it just gives him uh, it just gives him a lot more uh, than what other players would give you with a lesser weak foot so there you go guys I think he's great you know wants to watch Mkhitaryan in for Mkhitaryan the first special item for Arsenal uh, hope you now know whether or not he's right for your ultimate team thanks so much for watching guys and I'll catch you next time peace